as <laughs> I think I found out enlightenment. Yeah, I know, it's bold. <laughs> you wouldn't really think an enlightened person would say something like that. But this could be the real deal. Um, basically, I think silver edition of this is realizing that you were made in God's image. Regardless of actually if you believe in the Big Bang Theory or if you believe in the Creator of God, both energy sources came from one, and now that we're all a part of that, so you are the biggest miracle in the universe. But you are a vessel to that light, to God's light. I believe it's God. And that you are a vessel, you are a lamp, you are a flicker of the greatness that God is. You, no matter what you're going through, that you are a miracle. Can I stress it anymore that you are miraculous just the way you are. Even with your challenges or whatever you're going through or what you're ashamed of, that you, that you experiencing that is miraculous. That's one. To realize that about yourself is the silver edition. To realize how great you are yourself. Gold edition is to realize that everyone is that. You know, for me personally, sometimes I think it's really easy. You know, a lot of people go around with the inferiority, inferiority complex. But uh, for whatever reason, sometimes I go around with a superiority complex, thinking I'm better than other people, which I am. I'm better in my own unique way because no one can be like me. That that's the miracle of me that we're all radiating, we're all shining the same Creator's light. But God made me this way to do it in my way. And although we're all connected, that we have that uniqueness is wow, magnifico. So I can realize about myself, but when, when I can come to the place of fully feeling and fully realizing that everyone I meet, even if I judge them to be stupid, or if I judge them to be doing the wrong thing, or if I be judging them to be evil. Not that I don't really have these judgments much, thankfully. Sometimes maybe they creep up with me with, me with different wordings, of course. I wouldn't. I don't think I... Anyways. Uh, to realize that that person is miraculous, and is an image of God, and is the way they are made is, that's the only one of them made that way. And that we have not only this empathetic divine connection, but this person's expressing their uniqueness and then how much I can appreciate that. And then for every person, I'm talking about the, the homeless people, to the kings, to the government, to the people in jail, to kids, to elders, that, that in that moment that I'm getting to experience them, I'm experiencing something you you know so many people go around the world to look at Machu Picchu and there's one Machu Picchu and so many people have seen it but what about like Diana how many people have got to meet Diana or how many people have got to meet the guy that I'll get to meet at the coffee shop tomorrow not all the people around the world are coming to see him it's, he's he's the best kept secret he's just walking around he's the only one he's the only one and only Bob Thomas. Bob Thomas. <laughs> you mean, you, everyone knows about the Grand Canyon and Denali Park and whatever the wonder of the world of the day is. Machu Picchu or the Great Barrier Reef or Stonehenge. Everyone knows about that and, and so many people go to see that. But how many people go see Bob Thompson at the local coffee shop tomorrow? Man. He's just under the radar, under the radar miracle right there. Ah, <sighs> so realize that not only are you God's gift, and no matter what you're going through, no matter how challenging it is, I mean, it's a miracle that you get to feel that and that you get to experience that. And you're the only one, they might, you might, other people might have that experience, but you're the only one that can have your version of that experience. Wow. So not only realize that, but to realize that for other people too and how much we can learn from each other. And although we serve as great mirrors to each other, that we also serve as great glimpses of the 
galaxy. Glimpses of God. Hmm. Wow. Man, I've gotten too distracted with like tourist traps. I mean, you meet all the people that are all around here, man. They're all miracles. And you are too. And that's awesome. Hopefully we get to meet and experience each other's just divine miraculousness. All right, well, that's it. Now you're enlightened. Mm-hmm. <laughs>